वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल रेक नेटिव ऑन विंडोज़ मशीन एंड हाउ टू रन योर फर्स्ट विंडोज़ प्रोग्राम इन एंड्रॉयड इम्यूलेटर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड आई विल टेल यू गाइज आई हैव मेक अ नोट पैड फाइल इन विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल द स्टेप्स विच इज़ नेसेसरी टू रन द रेक नेटिव इन विंडोज मशीन एंड वन मोर थिंग यूजिंग दिस मैथड यू कैन ईजिली इंस्टॉल रेक नेटिव ऑन एनी वर्जन ऑफ विंडोज लाइक विंडोज टेन विंडोज सेवन विंडोज एट पॉइंट वन माई सिस्टम इज बेस्ड ऑन विंडोज एट पॉइंट वन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड here is my notepad file which i'm going to open in notepad plus plus the first step is to download node js in your computer so here is the url i will post this complete notepad file with downloading urls into descrip description box so you can download it from there now first this step is to install the node js so here is open the node js.org/en hashtag download and you will see the latest version of for your windows machine is 14.5.0 just simply can click on the green button and the download will start i have already downloaded the node js and i simply install it from here i accept the, the license agreement next 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 install and it it will ask you about uh, user control access simply press yes and your node js will install in your computer it will take about a couple of minutes to install now the node js is installed click on finish next step is to install the python Here is the URL. You can open it from here. I have already downloaded the Python in my computer, so I simply install it from here. Install now. Yes. Now the Python is installing. It will also take a couple of minutes to install. Now the setup was successful. Python is successfully installed on my computer. Click on the close button. Now guys in the third step we simply copy the command npm install minus -g react hyphen native hyphen cli into our command prompt so simply refresh your computer and press window plus r to op open the run command window and type cmd inside it and press enter and you will see the command prompt window will open open on your computer right click and paste and simply press enter now the react native cli package is start downloading on your computer it will take a couple of minutes to install here you go guys now the react native cli package is is successfully installed on your computer simply close the window now the next step is to install the jdk java development kit you can directly open this url in your web browser and at the bottom below window, windows x64 installer you can download the latest jdk version from here i have already downloaded the jdk so i simply install it from here simply press next next it will take also a couple of minutes to install simply press next Now the Java JDK is installing on my computer. Simply press on close button. Now in the next step, we have to download and install Android Studio Plus SDK Manager. Friends, this is the very important to download Android Studio and SDK Manager because without SDK Manager, we cannot use Android Emulator and and any of android related functionality because it is based on sdk manager and to access the basic components of sdk manager we have to install android studio to so simply open the url i have mentioned below now download the latest version of android studio and you will see 
with with android studio you will find the sdk manager latest package i have already downloaded the sdk sdk manager and set up it so i simply open my folder where i have installed the sdk manager which is in my which is uh, which is in my f drive android setup in android studio now go to bin folder and here you can find studio 64 simply make a shortcut of studio 64 on your desktop now go back guys here is my sdk manager which is placed in my f drive in a make in i have make a folder named as android setup now here is my sdk manager after installing the android studio with sdk manager you have to install all the necessary components i have already downloaded and installed installed all the necessary components so here is my sdk manager now what you have to do next is we have to set up android underscore home system variable which will tell the react native or any other software that the android studio is located here and the path of android studio is here so simply right click on your my computer and go to properties now go to advanced system settings click on environment variables now click under the system variables click on new now here type android underscore home now in variable value you have to paste the sdk manager folder path which is in my computer f android setup and sdk manager simply copy the path and paste it here the path might be different in your computer based on your download or extracted location so paste your own sdk manager path here simply click on ok now the next step is to set up the java underscore home variable path so first we have to go inside c drive program files java here you can find a folder named as jdk your version might be different simply copy the complete path of your jdk folder now right click on your my computer go to properties click on advanced system settings click on environment variables click on new now put the variable name as java underscore home in capital cap, capital letters paste the jdk folder path here and simply click on ok button now your jdk system variable path is set up in your computer now next step is to install the hexam intel haxm hexam software which is enable virtualization technology in our bios and and make our android emulator faster so there is no need to externally download this software you can find the same software in your sdk manager folder simply go to your sdk manager folder and in extras you can you will find a folder named as intel hexam software here simply install the software click on install and you will see it will take about 10 seconds to install click on finish now we have to start the android studio and set up the sdk manager with it and create a new avd manager which you all know as android emulator simply double click on android studio shortcut which have which we have been created earlier on desktop simply click on do not import settings because this is a fresh installation click on don't send click on next click on standard click on next select the android studio theme whichever you like I, li I prefer the light theme click on next now you will see it has automatically detected the android sdk manager folder path which we have defined in android underscore home variable and the jdk java development kit folder path which we have which we have defined in java underscore variable 
java underscore home variable now we have to download a simple android sdk build tool which is about 51.3 mbs so click on finish button and it will start downloading the file which is take about a couple of minutes now as you can see my android studio is now up to date click on finish button here you go guys now the first screen of android studio is open on your computer screen now click on configure click on avd manager your your virtual devices here is the title this is the place where we make the virtual devices also known as simulators click on create virtual device now i am creating a virtual device of pixel 2 mobile which is here you can also choose pixel i am creating a pixel 2 click on next i am choosing the android version which is android r i might feel android pi is much better than r so i am creating the android simulator in android pi version android 9.0 click on next click on so click on show advanced settings now here you can set the ram memory sd card setups and all the things now i'm setting up the sd card memory as 1 gb also known as 1024 mb the internal storage is about 2 gigabytes now i am disabling the device frame and click on finish button now it will start creating your avd now simply click on the play button to launch the avd machine on your computer it will take a couple of minutes to start the emulator android emulator in your computer for first time here you go guys now you can see the android emulator is successfully started on my computer now the next step is to create the react native project so i am creating the new react native project in my f drive in under react native projects folder so i simply open here command prompt by typing cmd in the url bar now i am in in react native projects folder here you can see i have already created a project named as project 1 now i will create another project with react react native latest version as named as project 2 so i will type the command react hyphen native init project 2 and simply press enter it will take a couple of minute and also be make sure when you execute this command in you have to connect with the internet in this command the react native in react native is the prefix and the initiate i n i t tells the react native to create a new project named as project 2 here you can type any project name i am creating the project named as project 2 you can type any name which you like now it will now it is downloading all the necessary files libraries from react native sources it will take about a minute or two to download all the necessary packages in your computer now finally our react native project has been created the next step is to move in move in inside the react native project so i simply type cd then space My React Native project is Project Two. Now press Enter. Now I am clearing the screen using CLS command. Now finally we have to write a single command which will run our React Native project in our Android emulator. The command is React hyphen Native run hyphen Android. simply press enter 
it will take some time to run first time on your android emulator if it will ask for any administrative permissions then simply accept the permission or press the yes button now now the server is started here you can see my project is creating it is installing the app on the emulator it will take a couple of minutes here you go guys now you can see in the emulator my pro react native project is started it is loading the project here is the here is the loading configuration there you go guys now the first react native project in my computer is successfully launched you can see the project screen welcome to react native step 1 see the changes it is the main jo it is our main app.js file which is showing on the current screen the main app.js file loads every every time when you start a react native project now in my next tutorial i will tell you about how to con how you can configure visual studio code for react native so please subscribe my channel and support us thank you guys